I have been convinced of one thing, though. That without the Lord, we can do nothing. But with the Lord, we can do all things. I'm coming to find in my life, I need very little human support. Although human support is important. You plus God always equals a majority. And you minus God always equals a minority. I guess what I am learning is the fact that God hears and answers prayer. He's a prayer answering God. I've often wondered how I have gotten to where I have gotten. Because it's been very recently that I guess that I have learned just the minutia of praying. I guess that would be because somebody was praying for me. Some little old sainted mother, some little old daddy somewhere was praying. I preached up at Brother Ralph's Jubilee last year when I preached up at Brother Ralph's Jubilee. I preached that morning, and I actually preached that morning what I'm going to preach this morning. I have only preached that message one time. I never repeat messages. I, I just don't do it. And I never preached that message beyond that day. That afternoon, we sat down at lunch, and a lady came up to me and tapped me on the shoulder. She said, are you Tyler Galden? I said, yes, ma'am, I am. She said, I'd like to speak with you. The woman looked to be in her, her late 50s, early 60s. She said, I need to tell you something. I said, all right. She said, my husband passed away about a year ago. She said, my husband prayed every day. For an hour and a half every day, he prayed. She said, you don't know this, but my husband had been praying for you for years. For at least four or five years, he prayed for you. At least one, one day a week, for an hour and a half, he'd lift up your name. I said, man, that's great. Who are you? And how do you know me? She said, well, do you remember when you used to be on WKJV, on Preacher Lemons' broadcast? You see, Preacher Lemons had a radio broadcast that went out over the southeast, and uh, one station that he was on was in Asheville, WKJV. One week a month, as I was his assistant pastor, he would let me get on the radio and would let me preach. And I would preach for 15 minutes every day. She said, my husband heard you on WKJV and put you on his prayer list. And every, every day, one day a week, every one of those days, I would hear him in there and I would hear him saying, Lord, help little Tyler. Lord, help little Tyler. And she said, tears went up in my eyes this morning. And you stood up behind that pulpit and I couldn't help but to think, that God had heard the prayers and had helped little Tyler. Now I'll be leaving Tuesday on a jet plane. I don't know if I'll be back again. <laughs> but I do know this. This may be a ragtag group of people in this room. No high and lofty people. You do not have a high and lofty preacher. You have just an old Gideon that God pulled out of the farm field somewhere. Because of the prayers of the saints of God, I am what I am. Listen to this song. We, me and Dwayne were practicing last night. I want you to listen to it. Somebody's praying for me. My, 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 Gary. God is good, my brother. Somebody's praying, I can feel it. Somebody's praying for me. Mighty hands are guiding me, protect me from what I can't see. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Somebody's praying for me. Angels are watching. I can feel them. Angels are watching over me. 
There's many miles ahead till I get home. Still I'm kept before your throne. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Your angels are watching over me. Well, I walked a barren wilderness where my pillow was a stone. And I've been through the darkest cavern where no light has ever shone. But still I went on because there was someone who was down on their knees. And Lord, I thank you for those people praying all this time for me. Somebody's praying, I can feel them. Somebody's praying for me. Mighty hands are guiding me, protect me from what I can't see. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Somebody's praying for me. Why don't you play that right quick, my brother? Let's just keep playing that right quick. I want maybe to this morning, you, some, God laid somebody on your heart. I know we've been down to this altar, but I'm telling you, the hope of our nation is in a praying people. And I have been so reassured the last couple of weeks. I believe God is still in the prayer answering business. And I believe God's going to revive this nation. I believe God's going to send revival to the church. I believe God's going to break chain. I believe God's going to do something. I'm wondering, is there a praying group of people? Maybe, maybe this week. I know we've got a young lady in the next week and a half. She's going to have a very serious surgery. I've already got in my alarm over in Israel in the middle of the night. I plan to get up and call out her name to God. Why would, why would we do that? Because we're nothing without the Lord. But we're everything with Him. I want us to come this morning. Brother Kerry, I'm praying for you, Daddy. God's heard and answered prayers, my brother. Let's gather around this altar this morning. Maybe you're visiting with us. You need somebody to pray. We'll pray for you. You say, I'd be embarrassed. If you knew how messed up the people in this church were, you'd be just down here as well. Somebody just start praying. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name I pray. In the name of Jesus, I seek your face, and I'm begging you, oh God, Lord, for every need, every person, everything that will come, everything that will go, Lord, every, every thought, every intent, every burden, every brokenness that is upon the heart of your people, I pray, oh God. Lord, I pray that the burden might be lifted. I pray the sweet Holy Ghost of God will move upon the hearts of your people. Lord, I pray this morning that burdens might be lifted. Faith might be encouraged. Oh God, fill us now with your Holy Spirit. We'll praise you for all that you do. Lord, this morning I do ask you now to let Jesus be high and lifted up. Lord, let him be lifted up in every word. Let him be lifted up in every song. My Father, if these people look and see me, they will look and leave empty. But Holy Ghost, if you will empower us to lift up Jesus... These people will see the lowly Nazarene that was nailed to the cross but came out triumphant over the tomb. God, if they can see him at the right hand of your ha- of the right hand of the Father, God, all will be well. And I pray today, sweet God in glory, I plead with you, just be lifted up. In Jesus' name I pray.